Alright guys, so pretty much right now, this is a PlayStation that one of my nephews has pretty much got for Christmas. It's pretty much someone bought it for him. And it seems that technically this disk drive doesn't want to work. It does show that this has already been opened before, so we could have any type of possibilities in there. There could be bugs or stuff in there. So I don't know what's going to happen. They said that the disk drive just tries to move, but nothing happens. So if it comes to a point, we might just need to just come and take out the disk drive and clean it. If not, I might need to buy the replacement part. Or if I do have a replacement already from another spare part, this is one of the first gens on the PlayStation 4s. I might already have one that will probably work for it. But regardless, I'm going to be working on this. Let's go ahead and get started. So right now, pretty much, I'm just going to power the system on and see what it works on it. I do have a monitor, not a monitor, a TV pretty much on the front. You can't really see it, but it is here. This HDMI looks pretty good. Let me turn on the TV. And we're going to see if this system powers on. That's a good sign, so there is power. And I'm just waiting to see if the TV turns on now. Not the TV, but the monitor that's being shown from the PlayStation. Right now the TV says no signal. Uh, let's keep looking. It does feel slightly loose, but not as bad as I've seen before on a PlayStation. I feel like, okay, I can feel the hard drive. It's working its butt off. I can feel it clicking. And it does come up, it says, Checking the system storage status. Do not turn off the PS4 after the system is completed. I really don't care right now because he just bought the system. Oh, uh, look, I barely moved it. Let's see. He does have a bad HDMI port. It does feel loose. I barely even touch it and it loses signal. And it's freaking pretty much flickers and shows like a little gray stuff. So I might need to probably need to check on that part too. Let's see, now it's not even showing anything. So there's no signal. Okay. Yeah, it's a little loose. It, I move it, it has little dots and stuff on the screen it's a line but the PlayStation is still working but it's I'll probably just um, just retouch up on the soldering and see if that'll resolve the problem but the PlayStation is coming up they said that they could not get the disk drive out oh, it doesn't say there's anything in there let me see if I can put something in here well a disk did come in that did work It is working its butt off. Or I'll show it to you again. Look at this. This is just a regular DVD. Oh, so you don't even know who it is. It's probably from the last repair that someone had it stuck in there. But the disk drive is coming up. Regardless, I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this. And we're going to see if this can be cleaned. It probably just has dirt and stuff on the disk drive. And let's see if there's anything else is not misconnected also. Let's go ahead and get started on that. I'll go ahead and I'm probably gonna force part this off if it lets it. Instead of going to safe mode, because I don't need to go to safe mode at all. I'm going to say, yeah, I don't really don't care right now. I'm just gonna unplug this sucker. <sighs> Let's go ahead and continue. So for the time being, you're probably gonna see me just making videos. I'm probably gonna skip through on stuff that you don't have to hear the whole talking about it. So right now I'm just going to start disassembling the system. Sorry, I didn't have the mic next to me. This is going to be a pretty bad one. So I'm finally opening the system, and they said they're having problems by stuff. I can tell that this one is most likely probably a smoker where it came from, because you're going to see a lot of dust and crap here. Look at it already. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's going to be lots of cleaning to do. I don't even want to touch this. This is getting pretty badly, so I'm going to go ahead and get some gloves. So one moment. I can 
can control a little bit of tolerance of dirtiness, but this is way beyond. I'm not even going to explain this. So I'll put some gloves for this. And let's see if we can continue cleaning this system. So the disk drive wasn't working. I wonder why. It's probably all clogged to death. I'm going to take off my Apple Watch also. I don't want to get that in the way. Alrighty, so let's continue on this wonderful mess. Look at this stuff. Oh my gosh, I might as well put the trash can here. Let me get up so I can brush this off. Hold on. to clean this whole table because of how bad this is. All right, let's continue going on this. So we got that part off. Let's go ahead and take off the back real quick. There's still more stuff flying everywhere. Oh my gosh. Look. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a very messy one. Let's see if we can continue getting this thing going. Well, this is one of the first ones. I need to take off the other two more here. Let's see. Are there? Yes, there are. There's two more. It has not been open. I think someone tried to open it, but it's just missing little pieces. As right, so you notice, you see this uh, sticker here has a little green line on it. This means they probably got it from a pawn shop. Like um, the way how it looks like, it looks like from Easy Pawn. Oh, look at this. I already see some little bugs. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Look at this. I'm about to literally gonna have to clean the heck out of this system. Look at this, this is all next to. Look at, oh my gosh. This is for a simple wire that passes through of dirt. Look at this. This is literally a smoker or s badly. Yeah, this is going to have to be taken out in a bit after I blow the hell out of this thing. Yeah, it's gonna be a project one. It's hard to just be a simple clean to make a whole mess. Okay, let's continue. This is still bad as hell little bug in there look at that okay let's continue seeing what else we can do I'm gonna have to disassemble everything the drive clean everything out and hope if this system will actually work I don't even know how this thing even powered on I was able to power it on earlier as you saw but I would say it would die every few sec after like maybe like 10 minutes or so I don't even want to know how bad it is right now. I'm going to take off this power supply. Um, we're going to see how bad that is. I swear there's probably going to be some bugs or something in there. This is freaking pretty damn bad. If it was me, I would instantly would have turned this back. So, okay, I'll take this connect from down here. Okay, some more stuff. 
so everything's going to be blown and cleaned up. Let's see, we have some little beautiful bugs. This place is going to have to be cleaned up after this. Okay, well, I'm gonna continue to take all this stuff out. Miracle the drive still moves, but it is there. Alrighty, let's just connect the extra stuff for it. Really doesn't want to move. I'm, I'm really just gonna switch the port. Listen, it. Here we go. Yeah, this port's gonna have to be cleaned up. Gotcha. I wonder why the disk drive doesn't want to work. What's missing the screws? Or no, it's not. Okay, some have that extra screw that holds it in place, but I think we're good. Let's go ahead and start disassembling this stuff. I don't even want to know how bad this comes. Had had some bad ones before, but this one's freaking pretty much probably broke the record. No, I would say the only one's probably still wins of how many cockroaches I've seen before. Mostly on PlayStations. I get them on Xboxes too, but not as bad. PlayStations are just. I guess they really love the PlayStations where the power supplies are at. More just bunnies. And I think we got a lot of stuff for this. Oh my gosh, look at this board. This board's gonna have to be cleaned up. Look at that stuff. I'll have to use a brush again. Let's do this lightly. It's a miracle. I was wondering to see if they didn't have any of the cooling stuff. That thing has got hot. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. Looks like something is still holding. Did I forget something there? Oh, duh. That's an important one. Let's fix that real quick. One of the important parts of this that I honestly forgot about. That's fine. We're going to press that down. Get that out. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is freaking pretty damn bad. I'm about to take this outside to clean some of the stuff.
So these little holes right here are supposed to actually be clear. Look at that. Okay, making sure it looks like it was a piece, a little component, but now it's just this. I think this board looks freaking pretty damn good. I think it's too bad inside of it. I am going to have to check on the HDMI port. It doesn't look too bad. I'm going to just check maybe it's maybe like one or two pins that are damaged. That will come back on another part of the video. I really have the stuff to record the system for micro soldering. I do do micro soldering all the time. So, well, that's my consideration. I might just probably just replace it anyway. But this part's still good. It's not as bad. Part back here. Might be a little bit better. I'm gonna wipe this whole thing again. It's out of all of this dust. Oh my gosh. Honestly, after, after this, I'm pretty much gonna throw this whole rag away. It's not even worth it to re wash it. Screw that. Go ahead and continue to see what else needs to be cleaned off. I'm gonna brush this off too. All of these are probably gonna be replaced. I have some different ones that might probably work better. If not, I might just clean them up with alcohol, but they don't actually don't look too crazy bad. They're just heating pads. Might actually be fine. This part's pretty much dead. This part. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. This is crazy. Ow. It has been a while since so I've had to do a disk drive. So I might need to get a little bit of cheat sheets right now, probably for my fix it, but we'll see. I'm gonna disconnect to this. This thing is bad. Because of this type of 
system is so bad i might honestly just replace this whole disk drive i don't i don't really want to go ahead and take so much time and effort to try and clean it if i can just replace it so right now i'll check and see if i have that part this is the part that i need because this is going to be need to be paired with the actual logic board motherboard for this to work has lots of stuff on it. I'm gonna get a little mark real quick. I know this one's that one. This one is the good one, so I'll put a check mark on that one. I know that this one's the one that we need. And then this is the whole freaking disk drive. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this apart. I'm going to take this off real quick. We probably don't. I don't know if that part needs to be in the way. Here it is. It actually is not too bad. It is dirty as hell on the rolling. And I'll check up and see. Look at that part. So this thing is still responding. That stuff does look weird out. Um, so much dust on there. I'm honestly gonna see if I have another board similar like this. Cause I don't want it to go too bad, but if I don't have it, I'm gonna have to continue cleaning. Alrighty, so I pretty much found another one. It's probably been, I have no clue where it's from, it's probably just a spare part once. But this one you see is a lot more cleaner, the disk drive is moving, this is not dirty. Everything looks a lot better, I think the whole problem was probably something within the board issues. So if it's like this, I'm going to just swap everything from the board onto this one instead because this is dirty as hell. I'm not even going to, I'm just going to throw this away. Um, if, <laughs> maybe, considering I'll take it apart and clean this stuff, but this is crazy dirty from smoke and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and continue disassembling this one and we're going to swap this stuff over. And before I do this, I need to make sure if this is the same model for this. Let's see. I just had the board. And it looks the same, so probably this, this will probably work perfectly fine. This might have been already been attempted to be taken apart before. There we have it. This one did have some bugs and stuff, but I really don't care too much on this one. This is the good one. I put a check mark on it. I'm just gonna move this to the spare parts. Let's go ahead and add this one on here.
I think this might have a bad power supply. I'll test that. If I need to change the old power supply, I will do that. There we have it. It actually fits perfectly fine. So this one does have a few things. I'll test this one and see if this drive works. If I need to, I'll look for another one, but it's just an attempting. Honestly, I'm going to go ahead and take out this power supply. And yeah, the current power supply that we used on this did work. Even though it's dirty, I'm probably going to just air blow it. Unless I can just test this one first. I guess I'll just test it. That goes right here. This one was missing it, so I think it's already been attempted to be worked on. That's why, so I'm not sure if this one will support it or not. Oh, come on. There it is. There it goes. Alrighty. Let's cover this part up. Okay, I don't like where that little wire is at. I just need to be careful not to cut it. Right there. It's literally very close to it. Just be very careful. Okay. Get that one out of the way. I already see still pieces of dust on there. Ready? It's very loose. Let's try a different one. It's probably been been worked on before. It won't really hurt too much once it comes into place. It'll just stay there, so it'll probably still fine. This just gets loose. And then this tiny screw. Alrighty. Now this thing does have a whole board. I know if it's here, it's probably because it's a bad board. That's why I have it here. This one's not too bad. See the bug? Not as crazy as the other one. There is a hard drive here. Honestly, this could be a good one, but it's from a big old pile of scraps that I got on eBay from this part. So I don't want to go and have problems left and right later. So I'm just going to swap this board with the current one that I just connected that I know that it was powering on. There's a piece still here. 
Oh, but guys, I still need to do take this off to get to it. This one's not that bad. This actually has better pieces, so I'm probably gonna use this one. Let's see the comparisons. This one looks like it might have been replaced. We're not just using different type of pads, I guess at the time they were made. But this one's still a lot better. Now this board does show that there's lots of water, moisture, you see corrosion. Corrosion, corrosion, corrosion. All around it, so that's probably why it's here. Ah, and here we go. So there was corrosions. Still not that bad. It's a little bit of rust, I can just probably just take that off. I'm going to transfer these though. So it does show rust, but it's not bad. Anything's better from what we had before. We are going to put some new thermal paste on that. And I think we're pretty good. Let's go ahead and reverse this step onto the good board. And I'll hope and see if the disk drive works on it. I don't have free money just to blow <laughs> and having every single part stuff. So if anyone wants to help down and donate or support us. It'll be pretty much be on this video. It could be a supporter, or if you want to just donate for one time only, or whatever you want to do. I will go ahead and put a link on there also to show you if you ever have any device that needs to be repaired. I mostly do lots of HDMI ports and power supply ports and stuff like that, but this one's just one of my nephews, so let's go ahead and get this one going. He just wanted this to be there. They bought it from a pawn shop, or someone bought it for them from a pawn shop, so, yeah. So here's the board, the good one. I'm going to go ahead and clean up this part right here. It literally has some pieces that are just stuck on there. There it is. I'm not going to push too much anything because I might damage this. We're alright. Let me see if I can find the thermal paste real quick. I swear this thermal paste likes to leave lots of pieces of it. I gotta have gloves. Okay. Oh, the thermal paste just loves just kind of there. Alrighty, it might be a slightly too much, but I think it will live. Anything from having nothing. Oh, I was going to check the HDMI, so let me check on that real quick, okay? One second. It could also be the actual cable. I know we have sometimes these cables are very sensitive. Also, but I just want to make sure that HDMI and all of them are correctly. So I'm going to zoom onto that real quick. One second. Alright, so everything looks good. I'm not going to replace it. If, it. if it does come to a point that the HDMI port does need to be da replaced from damage, then I will, but I think we're alright. Let's go ahead and put this board back in place. It looks like something there is not going to fit right. Let's see. No, it's probably just not. 
Let's take a look. Oh, that's why. I see why it's been like that. Let's fix that real quick. That was just wearing a little tension on it, on the metal. Now let's go again. There it is. I do not like this. This has a weird feeling. Let me compare it from the other one. Here it is. Let's see. Do I have a slightly difference on this part? Or am I just blind? Oh, it's a slightly different. This shell. If it comes to a point, I might just need to change it. Or use about the same spot. Let me just take a look again, just to make sure. This looks the same. Just only this part it looks a slightly different. It's because it shows that there's something right here. Because of this, it has a capacitor. I think it's this capacitor right here is touching this metal. I'm going to have to swap that real quick. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to have to clean up the other one. So honestly, it's almost doing like a project. I'm almost doing the other one. I think that is it. Is there any other pieces? Am I missing it? wires right there. Let's see what's holding on. Oh, thank God I saw that. Look how many bugs are on here. We're going to see how bad this one comes out right now. Oh my god, bird, I put my screwdriver right just at it. How did you get over there? This one actually has a nice little part. There it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have seen some worker shit. Look at this. How bad can that be? Uh. Honestly, 
honestly, anything is better from the one that we just had. There we have it. All three spots fit. Yes. Okay. This stuff is kind of just stuck on there. Alright, so these have some heating pads that are going to need to be replaced. I'm going to have to clean them. I already cleaned them, replace them. Because there's no way you can clean them. I'm going to go get ahead and get some real quick. Now, these heating pads, I get them from an awesome place called Northridge Fix. I can guarantee that these are very useful. They use them, they're very used whenever you're doing micro and they don't want to overheat other components. But these also actually work freaking pretty damn good. For PlayStation and Xboxes, so I said, why not? I'll go ahead and just use them too. Just to replace these because these are just so dirty. And they're just heating, so I don't think it won't really matter. And then I need to clean that up. Alcohol there. And then this decided to get spilled everywhere. Let me just take a few of those things off, clean them up. I think it'll still be alright. Won't really hurt anything, it's just odd spots. Let me put a very little bit, because this is actually still good. If this thing doesn't work on the disk drive, then I would honestly would have to order one. But we'll attempt and see if this one does it. Gosh, it doesn't want to fit in place. What am I missing now? Everything looks seems correct. Everything looks in. Everything's on there correctly. All the screws are in place. This is the same metal that we had from the other board, so it has to fit. And I think we are good. That will work. Sweet. Okay. Let's go ahead and put these other heating pads real quick. Oh my gosh, this one already messed up. More gloves. Alrighty. Now, because of this, they're probably gonna be hard to take apart with gloves. 
but we'll see. Oh, just come off. Okay, maybe not. It's a funny thing like that. I've seen a person do that replacing heating pads, but they never removed the plastic. And then they wonder why their system did not work. That's a funny one that I've seen people who have done stuff like that on PCs too. There it is. Oh, get out of my way. You too. Honestly, I kind of needed new gloves anyway because me clean, trying to clean this up with how bad it already was from the last gloves. Yeah. Alrighty, we have some new heating pads, and let's go ahead and put the board back. There we go! Alrighty. Let's saw some I put on here. All right, what was on here? I'm so lost. Where, okay, there it is. Now I'm gonna compare this one from the other one. So these look identical. Well, almost. Slightly different. So I don't think that parts don't matter. Let's see. It does have a screw right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the board on that. Don't want it to hurt anything on the board. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and put everything back. This is probably going to be one of my longest videos I've ever made that's actually taking a whole hour for this. I honestly could have just done this live, but it wasn't planned to be this difficult. There we go. I'm going to clean this out. Still just flying everywhere still. Alright. Let's go ahead. Not gonna put this part stuff yet. I'm gonna see if I can put the power supply and everything else back in place. This one does not want to stay in there at all. Put a screw back on there again. That would be important if I didn't have the correct piece for that. Yeah, this limbo's around. I do not like that too much.
I think it won't really matter once it's put in place and cover the whole cover for it. Now, this is one that they had. I do see a slightly little piece of metal broken on the blue, so I don't want it to touch that. This one looks in very good condition. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on instead. Alright, so that episode's pretty much put in place. I'm going to clean this out real quick. One second. It's gonna be air blown also. I have two of them. They look almost identical, but this is the one that was working. This actually kind of feels broken. Alrighty. See that wire not get pinched, it's in a weird angle. Okay, that looks a lot better. Now I'd be so mad if all, all of this work, and then it doesn't even want to stay in place. I just want to power on. Oh, I have the right piece. Okay. Alrighty. I'm getting so much done with this one. This will be a whole... It's been about an hour already on this one single system. It only takes about 30 minutes to do this simple cleanup. This one's just a mess. I don't like how that one fits. Okay. I know there's a couple. I think these are on. We skipped through. I'll check right now. Let's go ahead and try and clean this stuff up.
Dopey. Alrighty, not the greatest, but better than how it is. Looks like this before. I don't really need this part to do it. I just want to see if this system actually powers on. Just to see. So I think we're good for right now. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just see if this thing powers on. I'm not giving a 100% chance. If it doesn't power on, we understand why, how bad this was. Oh, that's a good sign. I do see light. See the TV coming on. It says checking the system storage device. It's a miracle. This thing actually got to stay alive after changing everything out. Once this thing comes up, I'm going to and see if the CD drive will come in. Do not like this. I can hear some ugly clicking on this hard drive. I bet you this hard drive is eventually going to be replaced soon. I don't know if you can hear it, but it goes like a little click. Click every time I do this. This is pretty much going like every time. Okay, can I connect network? I honestly don't even know where my mouse is at. I'm going to mouse. The controller's at. Let me go see if I can find one. One second. Honestly, don't know where my controller is. I'm probably gonna have to go get one for it. All I want to see is this, this if this disk drive is gonna come out from that. This HD, um, HDMI. If this DVD will work. Oh, I love it. I love that sound. I did not have to go too much crazy. Not saying crazy. Just replacing the CD drive because of that. So I think this one's going to work. I'm honestly gonna probably gonna close this up and everything. I'm not probably gonna go step out. I'm probably just gonna get another controller that I have somewhere. Honestly, I might just go to like Walmart. I don't. I think I literally I probably sold one that I had here. Um, yeah, don't know what happened to it. But I do want to see if actually the place does come up. His hard drive is probably going to be replaced too. I might just swap swap it because of this. Because I can hear it. It's like. It's shaking on the platters. If it's not that, it's maybe the fan. HDMI is very sensitive too. Honestly, just might just be this cable. I, I think it's honestly the cable. Because everything looks good. Yeah, I'm going to leave it as is. But, we got this thing going. So, I'm going to go ahead and close everything up. 
time put all the pieces back together. Okay, so this one actually belongs right here. This is probably one of the worst ones I've ever had to do before. I honestly, once I saw the stuff, how bad this was, I should have just stopped within that point and told him too bad, but because it's one of my, it's not really my nephew, I think it's like my, oh, let me think. I think it's my sister's boyfriend's nephew, if I'm correctly. I see him all the time, but I think this is what he got for Christmas, that's why. Alright, so that's printing on there. Where is it's this one right here? Alrighty, I think we're finally closing up and then I'm probably just going to end this part of the video and come back as a touch up once I have the disc, not the disc, the controller, I'm probably going to think about replacing the disc, that's why I said that. Um, but I think we are good. I'm going to turn this thing on and I'll let them know that this system gets to live. Someone got it from a pawn shop there. Christmas and he said he was having problems with his disk drive but I didn't think it was just gonna be that that was gonna be like simple that the disk drive was dirty or like dried up and probably needed some simple alcohol to clean it up <laughs> but it was a little worse than what I thought okay. let's go ahead and plug this back in and I'm gonna go ahead and test and see if this Part works it does okay I'm so happy sometimes that piece of metals get slightly bent and it doesn't want to work but it is a uh, promise on screen TV instantly came up this place is checking the system again if this issue continues checking the system storage device there might be something wrong with it it's coming up okay I'm gonna go ahead and end right here and come back in a few minutes and put a controller connected and everything and be sure the screen comes up and everything for it. Alright guys, so I literally just got a new controller. I have no clue where the heck happens to mine. I think someone probably gave it away or it's somewhere lost in all of my piles of repairs. Doesn't really matter, I got a new one. And we're gonna test and be sure that this PlayStation does screen does come up and everything like that too. Just see if there's any issues or anything on there. It's been a while since so I've actually had to open a brand new one. It feels so cool. And there we are, you know. It would be nice if we had a cable, but you know, they don't come with them anymore, so. There he is. So here we are. Feels so good. Oh my gosh, everything feels nice right now. Now, this thing was pretty, pretty bad, so I don't even know if these USB ports work, so I'll attempt them, and I'll use this one right now. So since the PlayStation did not turn off correctly, I'm going to wake it up. Oh, controller's up. Okay, see important health and safety warnings and settings menu. And it seems that this system is logging in. What I need to do is to test and see if it actually is reading DVDs. Has the Blu-ray disc or videos must be enabled for this feature to connect to the internet. Let me connect to the internet real quick. Let's 
go to network connection to internet set up through wi-fi easy i don't feel like making your life wi-fi is working that's a good thing it'll be sad right if you, the wi-fi is not working i see i don't see my 5g i see a 2g that's fine let me connect to it i hope i spot this right it's when you know a password and you just type it on a keyboard versus type it on a controller <laughs> you might have a I actually may have the password incorrectly because I was just remembering what it was. I type it in from just what what keys. I think we are good. Connected says it is updated. Uh, it's checking. It's obtaining an address and it connected to internet connections. I just need to see if this DVD system will work. It's telling me features on the key, pretty much the controller from flick right, left, back, previous. I really don't care. I just need to see, and the DVD is working! That was my whole concept. I really think all I had to do is just replace a stupid um, disc reader. I was gonna just clean it, but of how bad this thing actually came out, well, heck with I just replaced a whole DVD drive because of that problem. Oh, I feel so good. Okay, well, that's pretty much the second part, and I'm pretty much good that we were able to get the system working. I'm going to go ahead and close this application, take this disc out. That means pretty much the games will work too. And we should be good. Let's see, does it open? Oh, and it comes out. Look at that. I get so shocked by just seeing that. Disc comes in. And then disc comes out. The other one was bad. It was like one, like, eh, getting stuck going halfway. Didn't want to go through. I was going to clean it, but out of how bad this thing originally came. Yeah, that was a no. But we are good, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut the system down correctly. Because every time I want to just press power, it goes into safe mode, and then we get the message saying that you did not turn it off correctly. So let's turn it off the PlayStation 4, and this one was successful. Should be having some more systems coming up this week. I think I have an Xbox Series One, and I have another one that's probably gonna be coming also during this week too that have been damaged. I think one of them is one that they sent to Microsoft to get it fixed, and according to them, they can't fix it that it's damaged. But we'll see how that comes out. I think I'll be all right. But we got this one done. Thanks everyone for watching us here on Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on our next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.